moment of truth, Nora. We gave you some time to think about each of the bachelor's answers. Are you ready to make a decision? I think I'm ready. All right, but before you tell us who you picked, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us what you liked and disliked about each of the contestants, starting with bachelor number one. Okay, um, Chad seems very nice mm -hmm. and uh, very romantic, which is, which is good. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, he just snored, that's terrible. Um, so, so, and he also seemed very honest and earnest, and I love that. Um, one thing he kind of let slip, though, was that he thinks, he puts looks in front of personality, before mm. personality. So that was just a little, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> judge somebody, you know? <laughs> and I appreciate that, but, hey. Okay, bachelor number two. Yeah, um, Oliver, let's see. Also very, seems very sincere and very kind, which are good traits. Um, what threw me a little was that he chose Mike Tyson for a <laughs> A big black man. <laughs> I just, I, I still can't, I, I don't uh, understand, I don't understand how. Something I would choose, but I don't know. She about, can oh, blow your mind. Yeah. Blow your mind, I guess so. Yeah. How about bachelor number three? Um, John, wow, what can I say? Um, <laughs> I'm speechless too. I just want to watch the videos and get it over with. <laughs> great stories, great sense of humor. Um, the negative, the only negative I can think of is I can't tell when he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning he's a good actor. That's yeah. True. You guys yeah. can do like a dialogue scene together, you know? Sure. I'll direct it. Okay. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. But before you pick, yes. let's go to the audience to see who they chose. Ready? Let's hear it for bachelor number one, Mr. Romanticist. Yeah! That's enough. How about bachelor number two, the martial artist? And let's not forget, bachelor number three, the most random person on this planet. <laughs> Nora, this is going to be a very tough decision. You heard what the audience thought about each of the guys now. Can you please show the persons, the people at home, your sign? I'm a tiger. You are a tiger, that's right. Nora? Yeah. Who did you pick? <laughs> I chose. You chose. Bachelor number. Three. Bachelor number three, let's meet the ones that you did not pick, starting okay. with bachelor number one, who is a graduate from Cal State Fullerton and is from Anaheim, California. So, Chad, can you please show the people at home your sign? You are a rat. So, Chad, get over here and say hi to Nora. Okay. All right. Bachelor number two is a teacher from Arcadia, California. Oliver, can you please show your sign to the audience? He is a pig. So Oliver, get over and say hi to Nora. All right, that only leaves us with one lucky bachelor. Bachelor number three is a videographer from Anaheim, California. John, please show your sign to the audience. He is a horse. John, get over here and meet Nora. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so Nora, 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 Nora. What do you think of him? <laughs> yeah. There's so much space between you two. Get closer I'm together. Sorry. Don't I'm be very shy. Nervous. 
Why are you don't be nervous? All right. You sh well, give me your thoughts. Where do you where are you gonna take him or he take you? Uh, maybe I'll leave it up to him because he's so creative. Well, you better be creative because you just won three hundred dollars. <laughs> Day I <laughs> Good for you guys. Thank you. So, Yay. where are you gonna take her? She wanna leave it up to you. Wow. I, boy, this go is for all it. that might just go watching, the audience exercising, exercising, dog stomping. There's so much to choose from. I don't know. <laughs> I think we should milk a goat somewhere. Milk a goat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You well, you know what? I hope you guys experience a lot of different experience together in life. And folks at home, if you want to milk a goat too, or <laughs> stomp on dogs, or uh, experience life, then please log on to our MySpace for more information about being a contestant on the show, or just be in this audience watching this wonderful game show, and me, of course. Once again, I'm your host, True Siv. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want more, I'll give you more matchmaking next time on The, the Sign. sign. I mean, I'm lose. happy with the choice of Emma Why are you happy with Emma Satisfied? Honestly, uh, she's not my type. Uh, she seemed like a nice girl, you know, but um, she's not my type, and I'm happy for Nora and uh, John. Now, did you think those two guys that you were up against you know, were much competition to you? Oh, yeah. You were the tallest one. Um, you know, if I'd had anything to do with it, I mean, agents would really be getting any more in this world, would they? Can you please show us some of your um, martial arts moves? Um, on you? No, 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 just to be honest, like... What? Oh! John, how does it feel to be her perfect sign? Uh, it's a little, it's a little overwhelming. I'm, I'm really happy. You know, shake it out, shake yeah. it out, shake it out. Shake it. Yeah, you are not shy at all. Oh, my God. Okay. So, after, you know, you hit the beach, ride the motorcycle, mm -hmm. you know, milk the goat, where else are you going to take her? I think it'd be really nice to uh, meet my friends and get to know how they're like, what they're like, and do shared activities with them. And, uh, and when are you going to bring her to meet mom and dad, or is that too soon? Ooh, yeah, well, we'll have to think about that one, but uh, four to six days. <laughs> wow, you move in. <laughs> and then, and the seventh day, you'll be on bended knees, yeah, and the ring, uh -huh. you know. Grandparents, and, um, all of them, yeah. And then you're both going to hire lawyers, and it's going to be a divorce case Ooh. all over again. <laughs> Nora, Nora, you won. It's so exciting. I'm so excited yes, for you. Thank you. So uh, now that you, well, now that you got to meet the two that you didn't pick, what are your thoughts on them? Like, any regrets? Um, not really. Not I really. mean, you know, they're both really cute, but, you know, looks aren't everything. So. Exactly. You want personality. Yes. And now that you pick John, you know, where do you want him to take him? Because, you know, he's, he might take you anywhere, you know. You know what? We just might, like, start driving in a straight line and just see what we hit. <laughs> yeah. And then you think there'll be a second date? Quite possibly. possibly. We'll see how entertaining he keeps me.